second grade scientist. Today is all about inventions. An invention is something new that serves a purpose. And scientists are always looking for ways to improve the world around us. Today, you have the opportunity to be a scientist too. But first, there has to be a problem that need, has a need that needs to be addressed. Here's the problem. Imagine you're out to lunch on a bright and beautiful sunny day. When you leave lunch, the weather is taking a turn. It's gray and it starts to rain. You don't have an umbrella. In fact, all you have is a backpack and a few items inside the backpack. Here's what you need, something to keep you dry. Using those few items you have in your backpack, how are you gonna keep yourself dry from this changing rainy weather? All right, scientists, now comes the planning part. All scientists must stop and make a plan before they create an invention. Remember our problem. Our problem is that the weather took a turn from the worst and we don't have an umbrella. An umbrella is waterproof and if I put it on up, no rain would get on my head making me have a bad hair day. However, I don't have one of these. All I have is what is inside of my backpack. So now I have to use these materials. Using these materials, I have to think to myself, first, what is my hat gonna look like? Also, what properties do the materials have? Are they absorbent or are they waterproof? The other thing I also need to think about is how will I make these materials work in my hat's design and how am I actually going to build it? First, let's take a peek inside of our backpack to see what we have. Now, some of these items, might not you might not see in the backpack all the time, but it's what was here. All right, well, we see a few items. I see paper, a paper towel, aluminum foil, a Ziploc bag, and even a plate. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna test these items for their property of being water repellent. Do they keep me dry? If something is absorbent, it'll soak up the water, but it will not keep me dry in the rain. So let's first test one of these. Let's start with the Ziploc bag. I have my water cups here. I could simply put my whole entire um, Ziploc bag in here, but I'm gonna use an eyedropper here and just test it this way. That way I don't make such a great big mess here. You could do this at home too by either emerging or putting your, emerging up your entire Ziploc bag in there or using an eyedropper um, or a medicine dispenser too. All right, so here we go. And I'm gonna just test it and see. Well, it looks like this plastic bag is water repellent. The water is beating up at the top and if I put my hand on the inside, as I'm doing this, my hand stays dry. So this bag is water repellent and it would keep me dry in the rain. So that would be a great thing to use. It's a good um, material. All right, let's take the paper plate. Now, one thing I know about paper plate is paper, it, it, when it gets wet, it sometimes falls apart, but this is a paper plate. And sometimes you put food on paper plates that might be um, have more liquid. So let's take a look here. Hmm. This, also like the Ziploc bag, the water is beating up on the top. I can actually see it floating around and my hand's underneath it and it's not wet. So this paper plate is water repellent. It must keep the water up on top. So if I had to use this for a hat, my hair would stay dry and I wouldn't have a bad hair day. I'll put this over here in the same pile. All right, now comes a paper towel. Um, paper towels are used to clean up messes. If I clean it on up, um, usually it'll soak up everything that is on the counter. So I'm gonna do the same thing here with the water. Up. Now with this case, the water does soak in, but I can squeeze out the water too, which means it's absorbent. So would this keep me dry in the rain? No, it would catch the water, but it wouldn't do the trick of keeping me dry like an umbrella would. So I'm gonna put this over on the opposite side. Let's take a look at the tin foil. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna put this, gonna get my eyedropper with one hand. Maybe better use two. All right. Now it's ready to test. Hmm. This one, like the Ziploc bag and the paper plate, the water sits at the top. I wonder if I wring it out, if it makes a mess, like 
the paper towel. No, nothing comes out. The water is still, if I open it, right there at the top. I have to actually pour it out so it catches the water really nicely. It's not absorbent. It is actually, it looks like waterproof. Um, so I'm gonna put this with the paper plate and also the Ziploc bag. Finally, I have a piece of construction paper. I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. Now I know water is usually not. So this one's interesting. The water is beating up on the top. However, my hand's underneath. And as it's underneath, I can tell that it's starting to leak through. So it's absorbing, it's actually absorbing the water. So this is actually absorbent because it's soaking the water up, it's taking the water in. So this would not be a good thing to have over my head, keeping my hair looking fabulous on a rainy day. So this doesn't go with the paper towel. So now that I've tested my different items that I had in my backpack, I can properly make a plan about which items I should be using in my design. I should probably use the aluminum foil, the paper plate, and the Ziploc bag, because these would most likely help me on a rainy day. The paper towel and the paper, although absorbent, they're not gonna keep me dry when it is raining out. So now that I know what to use, I can go and make a plan, I could design, I could build a diagram and draw arrows pointing to where I'm gonna use my tin foil, where I'm gonna use my paper plate, where I'm gonna use my Ziploc bag. Now it's your turn. Go around your home and look for different items. You can use the same items I found or you can experiment with others because that's what makes science fun. Find some other things that you might wanna incorporate into a rain hat and then test their properties. Once you're done testing their properties, it's your turn. Build a diagram. How, what is your hat going to look like? No building today. We're only going to be testing and planning because that's what good scientists do. They make a plan before they execute the build. So have fun planning scientists. I can't wait to see your designs.